This is Salamancer. You are watching Sal TV, but apparently KVK is watching something else. Like a scary movie, maybe. We do have an awesome game here that happened, I think, yesterday, the day before. Um, depending on when you watch this video, it could even be further in the past. But uh, between Makes Sense, aka the Dinosaurs, aka the Pinball Wizards, versus High Rollers Gaming, and I am using a new HUD today, XTV developed one. We've got some special assets for it, so I'm gonna check that out today. And so far, it does look like. HRG getting the upper hand of this. They've got some good positioning. They've taken out Squid, and with the high ground and with that positioning on the point, High Rollers Gaming should get the edge here, and this soldier oh, did manage to hit the scout. Who is BB? Oh, hold up. My apologies, but this is Dante we are watching, so of course he's going to get that kill falling up on Lansky. And if we just want to go down the rosters real quick so that I don't forget, Alpha is the medic for HRG. Now, I haven't seen him before, but he has apparently played quite a bit of TF2 in Intermediate and Invite, so quite a good medic. Well, you got Mouseketeer, Anonymous, Long Island Blazer is Rick, good old Rick. And then you have Try and Omar both on the Soldier to Try, usually playing the Pocket, I think. Omar, the Roamer. And looks like the Ubers are both down. High Rollers Gaming seems to have the advantage as they are coming out of the Uber a little bit later, a lot later actually, than makes sense. Which, uh, by the way, was the name of a team a while ago. I think I actually made a video with them. Or maybe it was me and X Time. Regardless, we were making terrible jokes about their team name the whole time. And, oh, Sweater does take down somebody. Can't really read that. I need to probably. Hmm, I just had to tell our HUD maker that this HUD could use a little bit of work because I can't read the kill feed very well, but it does look like makes sense they've capped the point. Problem is, when you have the point, you're going to take quite a long time to spawn. A nice kill there, though. Sweater does take down Try with a good sticky trap, so that's going to defend them for a little while and at least let them hold the point for a bit longer. You can see up at the top those times ticking down right now for the dinosaurs, a.k.a. makes sense. I don't even know what to call them anymore because apparently they're going to change their name like every time they can. Uber does come in from makes sense to try and stop this capture attempt. But you look at Alpha, and he is already all the way back towards his spawn. So the Makes Sense team can't really go back and chase him. They will put a lot of extra time on the point, but they are likely to lose it as this Uber comes in from HRG. Now they're going to try, I think, and set up on the high ground, maybe go for some ambush, and just try to force the Uber a little bit early. Then they want to back away as fast as possible. They're bringing KBK back right now. I think they've spotted the Uber coming in from the right side. Yes, they have. They were not in position to deal with that, so they had to back away. And that Uber hasn't actually um, been popped yet. Alpha taking a lot of hits, but he realizes that everybody from his team is really, uh, or from the opposing team is too far away. So there you go. They waited until the absolute last second to pop that Uber, pushing in with it and really uh, being quite devastating in the process. HRG, though, losing three players. They weren't able to get any kills on that. Basic finally dies for makes sense. But I. Ooh, KBK's in a little bit of trouble here, but he manages to uh, actually slide over that rocket there. And so that gives him. 100% Uber defending this point, I think, makes sense. Actually, I, I did not expect them to be able to defend that properly, but they totally did. They just kept dropping back until they finally got an advantage. And that advantage came, I think, during the Uber. While Try was taking most of the invulnerability, the rest of the team was kind of falling on the flanks. So it makes sense. Looks like they have a strategy that makes sense. And look at KBK so far back right now. Everybody should diving in after him from HRG, and I am having a little bit of trouble talking right now. I don't know what's going on, but absolute diving in from HRG, and you see that it was both soldiers, Anonymous and Rick, the demo. All of them dove in to try and get the kill, while Dante stayed back with the Boston Basher just to build the Uber up at a maximum rate with his medic, which is a beautiful strategy now. I mean, you can suicide four players in just to try and get the kill on the medic. But you see, KBK totally expected that. So he has not popped the Uber yet. He's still got 100%. 30 seconds left on this timer makes sense. Really playing this well. They anticipated that four player bomb, and maybe they just, uh, maybe they've scrimmed HRG before and they kind of know what they're going to do. But a uh, very good tactical play from them. And then here comes the Uber finally, but KBK is still holding on to it. Finally pops that to save the point. Basic, the roaming soldier over on the right hand side, gonna take a lot of damage, but he doesn't go down. Tang getting a really good kill there to save him, and finally Basic dies, but at what cost? Look at HRG. They are only two players up right now, and that is their medic dead, so it makes sense going to win this first round. Looking really, really solid right now. Gotta love it. That was an amazing round from them, so we'll see whether they can keep it up. And yes, look at those little XTV particles. 
this is uh, this is part of the new HUD, folks. It is pretty awesome. And yes, if you see a dispenser, by the way, go up, or a teleporter, they have little XTV particles in them, too. It's hilarious. I love it. So uh, everything about this HUD it just makes me smile, except for the kill feed right now. That is my only gripe. If you have other gripes, you let me know, because we can always get things changed. It is in the early phase. HRG coming out to the point once again, and they are trying to do that same aggressive mid strategy, but they've lost a player this time. And now they've lost their medic as well. Great bomb in. That was by Squid to get the kill there. And so Make Sense can push right forward. They have the heal advantage. They don't have the uh, player advantage at the moment, but no, now they do. They're getting more and more kills here, getting more and more respawns. And, yep, they're going to start slowly killing the enemies. Of course, that was uh, Sweater actually getting killed by Try there. So, and yes, I'm going to do a lot of reading of the kill feed today because I don't want you to strain your poor eyes. I will strain mine for you. I mean, it's utilitarianism, you know? It's it's me saying that I would rather have one person strain his eyes and read the kill feed, and look at this, basic jumping in and getting a nice kill on Alpha, the medic. Um, Lansky doing his best to try and defend that point for as long as possible, though, and look at that. Uh, they're keeping 30 minutes on it so far. Makes sense. Actually still have a heavy alive, so even though they lost a couple players, they are holding on to this point very effectively. Uh, Alpha finally back up, and there is a sniper right now. So this is Omar, nuisance. Omar Little, who was was on High Rollers Gaming for three seasons now. Actually, this is his third season on High HRG. He did he play? I want to say he played Scout last season. He is playing Soldier though, and the roaming Soldier, of course, gets to go Sniper. You actually see that happen a lot on maps like Viaducts, where you kind of want both of your Scouts because mobility uh, to try and take advantage of the enemy's flanks matters a great deal. So you actually have the roaming Soldier off class quite a bit. The Uber is popped for KBK, and they need to get Alpha out of here now. Looks like they will. He is retreating through the middle door to spawn, and Omar in some trouble. He's going to get chased down by the scout and a soldier, actually. They are being really aggressive, but they are not going to follow him all the way back to spawn because they know they've got it. They've got the point for a minute and 30 already, so it makes sense. Looking so strong, but here comes a push. And this time around, the Uber advantage, once again, going to HRG, is KBK all the way back. He's not as far back as he could be, but he's not really getting jumped very heavily right now, so he will just fall back into spawn for a little while. Uh, yep, get the heals going on Lansky with his beautiful pink beard. And then pretty soon we, are, we should expect a push going forward. Tang on the heavy as well, off-classing from Scout, so uh, makes sense to decide. And they don't really want to go with the mobility advantage. They want to go with the high damage output, but that's actually not going to work when they don't have the points. It's more effective to have uh, highly mobile classes so you can chase down that enemy medic. Anyway, here comes uh, Uber pretty soon from KBK. Right now, Alpha taking a lot of damage and he needs to get out of here. He is a little bit too far forward, but it does look as if they are going to retreat. And they're going to give up a point without forcing the makes sense Uber. That, of course, means that HRG, while they will have an Uber of their own, they need to get out there quickly and destroy their opponents. Every kill is golden for them right now because if they get a kill, of course, that player is not going to respawn for another 20 or 30 seconds. It is a crazy respawn time. But Alpha's coming out here, really milking his Uber. Finally pops it. Nobody forcing him for quite a while there. And so, will make sense be able to defend this? don't think so. As HRG tried to bring forward... Ooh, yeah, good kills going on. Sweater getting one there on Alpha, actually. He took down uh, took him down with a pill. But yeah, they try, HRG tried to bring forward a heavy, and that did not work very well. Again, that was sort of an offensive heavy move, which, you know, it's, he just takes too long to get in position. He is a fat body. Which, by the way, if you've seen uh, Metal Jacket, is that what it is? I, I always think I'm saying that wrong, but... But uh, hilarious movie, absolutely hilarious. There is not a moment in that movie where it is not utter comedy gold. You know, you know. If you didn't laugh in every scene, there is something wrong with you. Or maybe there's just something wrong with me. I don't know. Makes sense, though. Lose the point here, but they've got five seconds left. So once they recapture it, and look at the soldier jumps coming in right now. Beautiful aggression, and they do have an Uber already. Am I reading that right? Did HRG not force a pop out of Makes Sense? That's amazing. So HRG getting completely walloped here right now. Trashed. And Lansky goes for the kill. Did he get that kill? No, Sweater actually got the Pain Train kill on Alpha. Uh, but Alpha was going for the Uber Saws just because they need to put some damage out and try to win that round. But it ain't going to happen, my friends. HRG is down to zero to make sense. Well, down 0-2, to two, I guess, if I wanted to be technical. My gosh, those XTV particles are a little distracting, aren't they? 
But they're hilarious. We're going to keep them. At least, unless you guys make a big stink about it. Because, you know, I'd, I wouldn't want to, like, hurt your eyes or anything. Oh, Tri jumps in. Tries to go for the medic. Can't even hit KBK right now. This guy is such an expert dodger with his pink Santa hat. You wouldn't think the pink Santa hat helps, but I, I'm willing to bet it does, actually. And HRG, once again, losing almost all their players. Tri is the only one left up, and I think he might have been a respawner. So it makes sense. Winning another mid there. Um, has HRG actually won one yet? I think they won the first one. But that was sort of tenuous. They only held on to the point for like 20 seconds after that. So uh, HRG needs to do something different here. All right now, they are building Uber in spawn with this scout. Pretty typical. And um, I don't think it actually builds any faster than any other character. You know, because anybody can keep themselves below 140% health. The difference is that a scout doesn't waste any ammunition while he's building. So uh, that's a very useful thing. KBK not forced. Look at that. He actually took some damage from that soldier but did not pop the uber and i tell you in that situation i would have popped the uber i would have been super scared and would have just like right clicked so uh for him to have held on to that it basically means he really trusts his team he's just like yeah okay i expect my team to defend me and he really like at that point if, if he'd popped there it just almost wouldn't have mattered anyway like they they would have lost a point so you can understand his his uh decision making which is very good and it definitely worked out for them that time around where is Sweater? I want to watch these sticky traps. Oh no, he didn't kill anybody with it. Lansky, though, did get a kill on Omar, and now the Uber's popped. KBK has it forced a little bit early. Uh, Alpha is probably still back. No, he's actually wrapped around right now. They are cutting off the retreat route from. Makes sense. And what is going to happen up here? That demo man actually still alive, and it was quite a lot of health. But it makes sense. Team losing almost everyone, and there you go. Basic, the last man down. That was Dante getting that kill, and Anonymous with the assist. So now makes sense, finally losing that point, but once again, they've taken a minute and 30 off the clock, so HRG, uh, desperate to win a round here in the first half. We'll see whether they can do it. They just spam down the side a little bit while they wait for their opponents to get in position for another push. Uh, KBK pushing without Uber right now with his entire team. This is a little risky, but they, oh yes, this is exactly why it is risky, because look at the craziness coming out of Dante right now, and uh, Rick and Anonymous actually getting some kills in here as well. A nice little air shot from Try, And that was uh, that was actually surprising, because usually your rockets hit your own teammates if they're like right in front of you, but apparently it just barely passed by his teammate's side. It doesn't do any damage, but they still like explode on contact if, if they directly go through your teammates, I think. So it just barely passed by uh, uh, Omar. I'm sorry, Omar on the soldier. And managed to smack that scout out of the sky. Turn into a bunch of gibbs. And another air shot. Try is on a roll right now. We've got Makes Sense chasing down the medic. And I think they've got an alpha is down. But HRG getting so many kills on this point that KBK and Lansky cannot push by themselves. If they were to try, I mean, they would just get raffle stomped by four players in a row. Now they are going to have an uber though. And now they've got a bunch of power classes up. They should be able to push this, and I think they will recapture the point. But look at that, HRG ahead in the points for the first time in quite a while. Dante was trying to play something sneaky there in that little uh, choke, but they did find him. And they've also... Oh, no! KBK did have to pop the Uber there, realizing exactly what was up. So that was a double ambush set up by HRG. They were just trying to force the pop out of them as quickly as possible, and they did manage to get it, but they didn't manage to actually get enough kills, any kills, to stop this point from going back to make sense. So once again, makes sense. Going to sit here and rack up the seconds on point. Uh, KBK actually getting a little bit aggressive, though, and taking a lot of damage, trying to keep his team alive. He's got to be a little more careful, maybe dodge those uh, rolling hills a little better. In comes a big jump by the Demo Man. Didn't manage to get the kill yet. Sweater is down. And Basic is going to drop back here. Makes sense. Actually not able to hold the point this time. HRG uh, looks like they have finally found their legs. They are going to have an Uber. And they want to keep their players as overhealed as possible at this point. They want to make sure that everybody has nice health so that when their opponents push in, they will have a lot of HP to chew through. And chewing through HP, HP, I mean, sometimes it can be pretty tough, you know? It's, uh, it's tough, it's gamey, it is not especially fun to chew unless you have a crits, which is like having, you know, sharpened fangs or something. I don't even know. We are quickly exhausting this metaphor's um, reach. 
And there you go, the Ubers are popped. HRG not able to save all their players with it, though. Both soldiers down, which limits the uh, the aggression capability they have now. Basic and KBK down as well, and a Sweater is sneaking in behind. He's going to take down Rick if they're not careful. Doing a bunch of good damage, but makes sense. Need to get on the point, and they're not able to do that yet. Uh, actually, Sweater's the only one left up, and he's going to try and cap, but it's too late. HRG somehow held that off, managing to win in little individual deathmatch battles there towards the end, so now 1-2. And is there is there a timer for the find out? No, I don't think there is actually. So King of the Hill is almost almost always or always played to the last cap. Good to the last drop, as it were. But yeah, it's two to one, so we are definitely gonna see at least one team and get four points. At least one. <laughs> Pretty sure you can only see one happen. Um, HRG taking some damage. And this time around they have not gotten terribly aggressive on the point. They're waiting for their opponents to kind of push forward first. Now they are both jumping towards KBK, maybe? Oh, I soldier up there gets popped up in the air. Uh, Lansky actually got air shot a little bit. And KBK is back at spawn, so he will hang out in here, waiting for somebody to heal up. There you go. They will get 100% Uber very soon. But HRG has it sooner, because they were healing the entire time. They didn't have to have their medic retreat like KBK did. So while you're retreating, if you don't have anybody to heal, what are you going to do? You know, you can't turn back around and rejoin the battle, because what battle? So HRG holding the point for now. They've got about 30 seconds off that clock so far. They need to defend against an aggressive, makes sense team. And they do. Lansky tries to push in. But that's uh, Omar jumping in and getting the kill on him. And there goes the Uber for both teams. Dante just kind of waiting in the wings until this Uber is over. He wants a buff right now. So he doesn't want to go in um, with damage. But it looks like he will not get that buff at all. And in fact, HRG losing a couple of players, possibly Omar down. Uh, no, only losing one. Squid is in trying to get the kill on the demo, but it's not going to happen at all. Uh, now Rick is down to like 45 health and makes sense. Cap the point, but they will not hold it for long here. And in fact, capping has, I think, maybe increased the respawn time of both those other players. I don't know. Regardless, that respawn timer is bad enough that HRG is going to push right back forward. And the yeah, only 15 seconds uh, off the clock for makes sense. So the makes sense team having some difficulty holding on to it this time around. HRG is starting to look like a team here. And so it makes sense. Wants to get aggressive again. They've been playing really well as a team so far. They have pushed in now with the Uber. Both teams, in fact, popping the Uber. Uh, let me just find out where that is. There we go. And HRG kind of looking aggressive again. Where is this soldier? He's going to jump in. Going for the medic, and he takes him down. That's a really good kill there. Anonymous uh, hanging out and trying to kill this jumping soldier. But no, both of the soldiers looking incredible right now, if it makes sense. Uh, Lansky is down, and Basic finally dies there to Rick as well. Look at the kill feed, by the way. That's uh, Rick going huge with Dante's assistance. And uh-oh, KBK uncharacteristically out of position there. Omar trying to go for him, but he's going to have to sneak around and look for a health kit. Meanwhile, that's HRG losing the point. And Omar still behind enemy lines. That guy is just a nut. Good kill there by Lansky, though. It makes sense. He's going to try and hold on to this point for quite a while longer. I think they should be able to. And yeah, you should definitely be watching Lansky's stream, by the way. You guys need to go check that out because it is pretty awesome. And uh-oh, Omar on the spy. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, Omar, 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 where are you? Okay. Is that a, uh, is that the normal knife? It's got like a little serrated edge to it. And he's disguised as a friendly sniper. That's a really important thing to note because what that's going to do is it's going to cause the Make Sense team to think, oh, we're going to have to deal with a sniper. But it is actually a spy. Oh, darn, says uh, Omar. Darn, darn, darn. Trying to get away just so we can go uh, without having to wait for the respawn timer. Plus, Make Sense might end up thinking that they're dealing with a spy still now, but he is going to go back to soldier. So, yeah, Omar is back on soldier now jumping into his opponents fairly soon. But this is actually a big jump by Tri, forcing the Uber just a little bit early out of KBK to save Lansky. And Alpha took some damage there, but they will have the Uber for quite a bit longer. Lansky jumping in at uh, it's Rick and does take him down, but now he's behind enemy lines, and so he was basically trading his life for the life of the demo. Rick is like, oh, come on, man. Which, you know, it was a nice shot. I'll give it to you. But HRG is going to get right back onto the point. The times are very even right now. This is looking like a close game. 
And I think both of these teams were 2 and 1 going into this. Probably. 1 and 2? No, maybe they were 1 and 2 going into this. That sounds right. I think they were 1 and 2. Each team had a 1 and 2 record. So whoever wins this is going to have that tied up record and still be kind of hanging around the mid of the invites. Oh, look at that shot! Basic slamming into the ground there, not able to grab the health kit before he landed. So he's gone. Anyway, whoever uh, loses this is going to be towards the bottom of the invite uh, team list. But, I mean, these teams have been... There's, there's a fairly good gradient. I don't want to say they're all super close together, because, like, you'll see, you know, some of the top teams kind of stomping over some of the bottom teams sometimes. But, um, there isn't a situation where, like, any of the teams are just obviously not going to make it to land. All these teams are looking really, really solid, so... Uh, I like seeing these games. HRG getting down to about four seconds left on the clock, and that really puts the pressure on to make sense right now. They've lost their demo, they've lost a scout, so all... Yeah, there's an Uber advantage, too. Alpha does pop the Uber with 11 health left, very close to death right now, but doesn't matter too much unless the Make Sense team gets some kills right now, and they are not going to. They're just going to lose all their players, and that means 4-3-2-1. Basically, that's going to be it. HRG ties the game up, and we are going to get to halftime after the next round, regardless of what happens. It will be 3-2, and that's kind of when halftime happens for King of the Hill. Um, of course, the scores are played to 4, four total, so... Who knows? This could end up being a really fast last half of the game. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Didn't realize that was happening. Hang on, I'm sorry, I know there's action going on. XTV! Wow, okay, awesome. Uh, no, <laughs> makes sense. Being aggressive again, and actually, HRG has a couple players over here on the side. Do get some good kills! So, KBK, the only man left alive. Can they chase him down fast enough? No, KBK, I think, is going to be back in spawn. Try is... being aggressive but decides to back away from that. And he hears his opponents starting to jump out now. Which means that... Oh, KBK actually has an Uber advantage. Didn't realize that. A alpha went down. Uh, so they are going to have Omar on the sniper again. Omar, Omar, Omar. And Anonymous is... Oh, nice! He got a nice little ambush there on a squid. Now he is behind enemy lines, going for the medic, trying to force the Uber out of KBK. But KBK doesn't even have an Uber yet. Anyway, uh, we need to watch the Omar cam. Where is Omar right now? Okay, so he, he does force that Uber, I think, a little bit early. But look at that Alpha down again. So we might see Make Sense going up in the half. I don't know. HRG does still hold the point. That's the thing. They have taken a minute off the clock right now. Oh, no! Omar just barely whiffs that shot against the Medic and gets shot by the shotgun in midair from Lansky. Lansky doing work right now. It's just that the work he's doing isn't capturing the point, and that's fairly important work as well. He needs to get back there and start doing it, along with the rest of his team. Because look at how much time HRG ran off the clock just by being pesky. I mean, that's really what they were doing. Uh, once again, Omar on the spy, so he is trying to be the next Mackie, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Omar, come on. There we go. Okay, so once again, disguised as a sniper. And now they spy. They, I, they should know that he's a spy. I think. Maybe not. And he does grab this ammo, so he's going to be way behind the enemy lines. Decloaking right now. Does anybody see him? Uh, not yet. And he gets... Does he get a double stab there? He totally did. Two kills. Lansky and Sweater both down to the backstabs. Problem is, HRG actually is down four players right now, so it doesn't even matter. KBK might have the Uber Force, but I don't think so. Uh, makes sense going to get a lot of time on this point here because they have an Uber. They can defend this for as long as they need to. At least until their opponents come in with the Uber and then they'll have to pop it and then, you know, you know. Or maybe they'll just lose basic and actually lose the point right away. What is going on here? Uh, they didn't force the Uber out of Alpha. Maybe that's what they wanted. Basic probably tried to jump in, didn't see. My guess is that he tried to jump in, get the pop out of Alpha, and didn't get it. Which is sort of what they were waiting for. Look at this actually it makes sense being forced first. Forced first. There's a ton of twister over heard one. Say that five times fast, ladies and gents, just do it right now. But HRG, with a bit of a better Uber situation coming out of this, they've gotten a couple of kills with Lansky, Base against Sweater, both taking, all taking the respawn time. That same wave, KBK going to come up about five seconds after. And HRG still at the point, so they are getting to be about a minute ahead, and they might go up at the half. Put quite a lot of time away on this point right now, so KBK is gonna need to push his team forward without the Uber. They know their opponents can't have an Uber quite yet, but they do not know about this heavy who's gonna be walking out to the point. 
not a fun thing to deal with. They're trying to take out... Are they, are they going for Alpha? No, they're actually just going for the fragging classes. And they've taken down Tri, but they have lost Basic and Sweater in the push. They've taken the point. How long can they hold it, though? KBK at 20 health right now, and he's getting such pressure put it on him. I don't know. Actually, HRG will be okay to take the point back. But they will not get KBK. Who gets back up to full health. Doesn't matter too much, as HRG actually has an Uber. And they can defend the point with that Uber. Although, last time I said that, I said it about makes sense, and it didn't happen. So, who knows? Nice little sticky traps here, just to make sure that if anybody jumps onto those rocks and tries to kill their medic, they will be met with a nasty surprise. But the Uber is in right now for KBK. It is now counter pop once again for HRG, and this time they are popping it on the heavy, who can't really decide which target to hit. It's tough when you're the heavy because everybody knows to stay away from you in these leagues, so at least at, at invite. And so HRG, I mean, when they have the heavy out here, if he's getting attacked, it probably means He's either going to die or just going to like spit on people from really far away with that minigun. Not doing a heck of a lot of damage. Doesn't matter though, HRG going up at the half. <laughs> they had some comeback right there. That was a very good half. And do remember that they have swapped colors now, which actually matters in this map because the map is mirror symmetrical, not rotationally symmetric like you would expect out of a granary or a uh, Badlands. So, you see that. Oh, try! <laughs> With a beautiful shot on Lansky once again in midair. This guy is just an air shot king today. And it looks like HRG are probably going to cap the point first. They have killed the enemy medic. They've lost their own. No, I'm sorry. That's makes sense capping the points. Try is, um... Oh, he's back on his side now. I forgot that he's on red. Just going to hang out with his medic. But makes sense holding the point for now. It's going to be a slight uber advantage. Alpha looks like he's running the crits. I want to say he is. He totally is. Called it! And I, I called that based on the uh, the fast Uber charge rate that we had going. So, doesn't really want to give away that he's running the crits, but we'll see what happens. Sweater gets taken out. Actually, HRG is just going to muscle their way onto the point, completely flanking their opponents. Makes sense. Was not prepared for that at all. Nobody on their team was in a good position. They were just like, wait a minute, what is happening? We are getting pushed. And pushed they got. But Alpha did die. And so that's going to give KBK just a couple of seconds here to start building an Uber where Alpha does not have that opportunity. Wait a minute. Let's figure out whether this medic has the crits this time. Yes, he does. See the little yellow lines there on the minigun? So that means that if he can build this up, he'll have a nice little uh, ability to give his team critical damage times three. Problem is, KBK is going to have an Uber ready by the time that crits is built up. And so the Uber is a perfect counter to the Crits Creek, assuming you know the Crits Creek is coming. Uh, you kind of have to get some good information on that, and it's possible that the Make Sense team saw the yellow lines in the minigun, and they are aware of the Crits Creek, but you never know. So we are going to have to watch here, um, we're going to have to watch the Demo Man cam. This is Rick is going to take the Crits as soon as it's ready to go. Medic is ready right now. And they call... Oh, they do get the drop out of KBK. That was some beautiful play right there. And so they're trying to just finish off the kills now. They killed the enemy medic, and there you go. They have taken down almost the rest of these classes. So HRG going to get back onto this point very quickly. They are a little bit behind in the time, but not for long. And there goes the scout. Not taken out by those needles. I kind of wish he was, but that was actually Dante finishing off Tangy. So, team makes sense. In a little bit of trouble here, they probably are kicking themselves right now for not anticipating that crits just a little bit better. Because you can even hear the, the medic yelling at Alpha Vitor Zane, which, which, like, that is a dead giveaway that crits is coming because he never yells that on a regular Uber. So, they, you know, if KBK, uh... Oh! Sweet dodging. But if KBK had just been a little bit quicker on that finger, he would have stayed alive. And HRG now lose the point. Uh, they do have a Chris Creek ready once again, and they have popped it right away. Oh, a double kill there out of Rick. Uh, KBK is still alive, and everybody else on his team is dead, but he's going to have an Uber ready to try and rush back in and take the point quickly. HRG holding it once again, and this is a close round. If HRG win, they seal the game. If they lose, then it is going to be tied up at 3-3. Three three. Sweater popping in pretty soon with the Uber. There's only 50% crits built up for Alpha right now, and so there goes the Uber charge very, very quickly, and they have Sweater jumping straight in at the Medic. Can he get the kill, though? 
very expert dodging right now out of Alpha. And so Alpha stays alive. He's going to have the crits again. Rick kind of wants that crits pops on him as quickly as possible, but so far, Alpha is at 80% and not building. Where is he? Did he go back to spawn? What's going on here, Alpha? you got to build that Uber at crits, that is, because times are very close right now. HRG wants to push right back on. They have the crits almost ready to go again. Uh, I would expect, oh no, KBK is already dead. So they, if they can hold on to the crits, they want to, but they may not be able to. As team makes sense, now jumping furiously in. And, uh, I, I know, split infinitive, but, um, no, they, ooh, makes sense, yeah, they were jumping straight in towards the enemy combo there, the medic and demo, because they knew they wanted to cut off that crit before their medic even respawned. KBK is up, and building the uber, 60 seconds left, just about for both teams, but it is in the hands of HRG right now, and team makes sense, even though they had the player advantage, they were not able to get that point back, so things are starting to look a little bit dire here. They need to cap that point quickly, and Tang is still kind of hanging back out at his spawn, as is most of the rest of his team. There goes Basic, not a good situation right now, 30 seconds left to go, and Tang and gets taken down too, so now HRG with a huge player advantage here. Team Makes Sense is falling apart, and they have finally got in and gotten a couple of kills. Rick's dead, uh, Omar's been dead for a little while, but it doesn't matter. Look at the player list. So Team Makes Sense, they're going to throw everything they have at it, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Uh, just be prepared for some crazy bombs coming in. Can they keep themselves alive in this game? They are pushing in furiously, but of course HRG ready for this. And overtime, that's it. That was the game. Oh, man, come on. I pressed pause. That was just a little bit too late. Anyway, leave a little bit of anti-spoiler time going on when we watch it, the, uh, this, this cheese dick smile of a scout. Um, and I know you love your anti-spoilers. I can only do these for short short maps, though. Anyway, that was a pretty incredible game. And if somebody else already cast that, I apologize, because I have not been able to watch all the casts I want to. Last weekend was super crazy with class going on. Um, and I've got way too much work to do. Literally, like, in two weeks' time, I need to have read 250 pages and have done a case study. It's it's awful. Anyway, I am looking forward to watching these teams for the rest of the season. That is amazing stuff. High Rollers Gaming, of course, uh, after this game, they are 2-2 two and two in invite. Their opponents, team makes sense, the Pinball Wizards, the Dinosaurs, whatever you want to call them, dropping down to 1-3 and three win record, so uh, they're probably not feeling too great about that, but you know, i got to say that both of those teams are looking super strong. I mean, makes sense. They, they were, It's like they were playing perfectly for the first couple of, uh, first couple of rounds there. They knew exactly what HRG was going to do. They just outplayed them in every single instance. It was a pretty beautiful game to watch. And then towards the end, they fell apart. I mean, I, there's not a lot else to say other than that they fell apart. So anyway, I do thank you very much for watching. And please do stay tuned to Sal TV. Um, in the future, when I cast some of those uh, lower-level games, I will say, like, right up front at the beginning of the video, I'll be like, this is going to be a low-level game, so at least you know. At least you are aware, and you don't, like, watch five minutes in, and then you're like, oh, there's a sniper pulling out the tribal one's shiv and, like, trying to beat people to death. Because I got some comments about that. I know. So, uh, just, you know, I'll be aware that I will say at the beginning of the video if it's going to be low-level. Hopefully I remember to do that. But thank you for continuing to watch TF2 here on Sal TV, and do give all the streamers and everybody else your attention as well, because the scene is growing right now, and I do hope that growth sustains into the future. Sayonara.